Hi everyone, my name is Nikita Soni. I am a fifth year PhD candidate at the University of Florida. And today I'll be talking about a paper on collaboration around multi-touch spherical displays, a field study at a science museum. Beyond flat screen displays, spherical displays that can support multi-touch gesture interactivity and allow multiple people to interact simultaneously are increasingly used in museums for educational purposes. As people often visit these museums in groups, allowing multiple users to collaboratively explore the content on these spherical displays is crucial when designing interactive experiences for them. A lot of prior work on large flat screen displays has examined collaboration patterns for social groups in museums for both horizontal tabletops and vertical wall displays. However, it is not clear if the findings from these prior studies with flat screen displays can be directly applied to spherical displays given differences in the form factor. So the goal of our paper was to understand how museum visitors naturally collaborate around multi-touch spherical displays in a museum setting to help us better inform the design of collaboration and learning experiences around this form factor. To answer this question, instead of starting from scratch, we tried to leverage group collaboration patterns seen in prior work with flat screen displays and investigated how they operationalize in the context of spherical displays. We conducted a five day long museum study during which museum visitors, including both children and adults, interacted at their own pace with the walk up and use multi-touch spherical display exhibit we designed to support exploration of global science data visualizations. We analyzed a total of 25 hours of video data collected from this museum study. The data included 211 unique group interaction sessions with 125 groups were multi-generational consisting of both adults and children and 86 were adults only group. We qualitatively coded groups natural collaboration behaviors in terms of how did these groups physically arrange themselves around the sphere, how they collaborated as well as what they talked about during the interaction. In the interest of time in this talk, I'm primarily going to focus on the first two collaboration behaviors, physical arrangements or F-formations and collaboration profiles. Now discussing our findings. In contrast to flat screen displays where user can have an entire field of view of the interface, for Sphere, the user's field of view really depends on user's body position around the display. So to understand how visitor groups spatially arrange themselves around the spherical display, we analyzed groups F formation or physical arrangements. Understanding how groups naturally position them and interact around the sphere can help us design interactions to support these natural group behaviors. In addition to the physical arrangements seen in prior work for flat screen displays, uh, which in this case are first two listed on the slide L-shaped and side to side, our work contributed two new physical arrangements, wide V and stack that we saw group members adopt when interacting around a multi-touch spherical display. An arrangement was coded as L-shaped when group members stood in adjacent quadrants and had no overlapping field of views. An arrangement was coded as side-to-side -side when group members stood in parallel and had maximum overlapping field of view. Wide view formation was a new one we saw for spherical displays in our study. An arrangement was coded as wide view when group members had partially overlapped field of view so they so that they can see part of the view the other is interacting with, but not the entire view. An arrangement was coded as stack when group members stood one behind the other with field of views dependent on their height. Prior work on flat screen displays has seen that straight across position was the most common group arrangement for collaborative work because it allowed group members to work on the same problem while providing face-to-face -face communication opportunities. For spherical displays in our study, we saw that the majority of the groups arranged themselves in the wide V formation at least once during the interaction around the sphere. The second and third most common physical arrangements we saw was side to side and L shape. The stack formation was also adopted by multiple groups, but more commonly among multi-generational groups where children stood in front of the sphere, engaging in interaction with their parents or guardians standing right behind them, interacting above their heads. Considering the fact that majority of the groups in our study tended to use wide view formation at least once during the interaction, we recommend designers to design interaction that make it easier for visitor groups to collaborate and share information in this wide view formation. 
As compared to site-to-site -to -site formation, we saw group members often dragged into phase elements towards these common touch interaction areas with, field, with overlapping field of view to facilitate group discussion when interacting in the wide view formation. And hence, intentionally designing for this physical arrangement seems important for supporting group discussion opportunities around spherical displays. In addition to physical arrangements, we looked at collaboration profiles used by groups. Collaboration profiles can help pinpoint verbal and physical indicators of group behaviors associated with effective collaborative learning around large interactive displays. These profiles were taken based on prior work on flat screen tabletop displays by Sher et al. And we added one new collaboration profile, so that is driver as a guide based on our study data. A collaboration profile was coded as turn taker when group members discussed among themselves and coordinated their interactions during exploration. A collaboration profile was coded as independent when group members were absorbed in their own activity with minimal communication. And a collaboration profile was coded as driver as a guide when one user was a driver who interacted with the interface as well as guided or explained the content they were interacting with to the other group member who listened carefully. Although we saw groups using multiple collaboration profiles and transitioning among them, in terms of majority, we saw that most of the groups interacted in an independent manner at least once during the interaction. And the turn taker collaboration profile was the second most common collaboration profile seen in our data with spherical displays. Given that turn taker collaboration profile has been shown as one of the precursors for facilitating effective collaborative learning, it demonstrates the potential of multi-touch spherical display for affording group processes associated with supporting effective collaborative learning in museums. We saw that the turn taker collaboration profile was seen more often for adults only group. In contrast, independent and driver as a guide was more commonly seen for multi-generational groups. This collaboration pattern in part might be explainable by high differences between group members of adult-only and multi-generational groups. Perhaps adult-only visitor groups who can view the content displayed at the same height might feel more comfortable in coordinating and discussing among themselves as compared to multi-generational groups who might see different information based on their height differences. In order to accommodate this, we saw adults using the vertical rotation gesture supported by a prototype to rotate a prototype vertically downwards in order to show and discuss the prototype content with the child, thus showing the importance of supporting all degrees of freedom in rotation to support multi-generational groups, but also with the caveat that it should be designed in a way that does not hinder others interacting around the display. So based on this finding, we recommend designers should support a flexible range of group collaboration styles and provide opportunities for easy transition between independent and group exploration. In our takeaway, we recommend designers to consider designing interactions that make it easier for visitor groups to collaborate in wide view formation, support all degrees of freedom and rotation to support collaborative exploration among multi-generational groups, and designers should also try to aim to support flexible range of collaboration styles and provide opportunities for easy transition between independent and group exploration. So with this, I wrap up my talk. Um, I'll be happy to take any questions uh, via emails. We have our email address listed on the slide here. So please feel free to contact if you have any questions. Thank you.